How to create Pinterest business account step-by-step -step optimizing. In this video, we're going to be talking about Pinterest and how you can create a business account on this platform. So Pinterest, as we all know, is a great place where a lot of different people share their images. They share, you know, uh, different things about their life through images. So basically it's a social media platform where all communications goes through images. Now, you can go ahead and make a lot of money off of Pinterest. And the way that can be is, you know, if you have a business account and you have like a whole decorum of page where you upload pictures that people download a lot and you get a lot of reach, you can make money. Now for those steps, I'm going to be teaching you. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end. Now to start things off, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to Pinterest.com and over here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on sign up. Now, once you go to sign up here, it's going to ask you your email password. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Now I'm using a temp mail for myself, but you don't necessarily need to go through with this step because if you're looking for a proper business account long-term, I would suggest using an email like your Gmail or Hotmail. I only use a temp mail because I'm trying to make an example out of what could happen. So once you add your email over here, you're going to come over to your password section where you're going to set up a password for yourself. Now, once you've set it up your password, it's going to ask your birth date. So you're simply going to add that. Now, once you've added that, you're going to click on continue. And once we continue, basically it creates a business account for us. Now, in the case that you want to switch this standard account of yours to a business account, what you're going to do is you're going to click on next. You're going to specify about yourself, you know, what's your language, where do you live, etc. And it also asks what you're interested in. So, you know, I'm going to go with vehicles. Let's go with wallpapers. Let's go ahead and add luxury cars. Let's go with photography. And let's go with men's hairstyles. Okay. Now, once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click on meet your home feed. And once you do that, as you can see, it optimizes your Pinterest accordingly. Now, as you can see, it says we're adding new ideas to your feed and our feed is going to be according to what we ask. So here you can see pretty standard, pretty cool. Now, let's say you want to switch this to a business account here. It's going to say convert to business. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on that. And once you click on convert to business, it brings you here. So it says upgrade to a free business account where you can grow your business or brand with tools like ads and analytics. Your content profile and followers will stay the same but you can reverse this change in the settings. So here, as you can see in business, you get publishing tools, you get an ads manager with manages and tracks your campaign. You get insights and analytics about your pins and ads, and you can also get different credits, promotions, and offers for your ad credits. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. Now, once you have upgraded it, it's going to ask you to describe your business. So it says select the best description of your business. If more than one option applies, select your primary objective. So first of all, we have online merchant or marketplace. So, you know, if you want to portray your e-commerce store, you can do that over here. And there's consumer goods like food, beverage, service providers, where you can include, you know, yoga studios, interior design. You have content creation like bloggers, celebrities, and public figures, publishing or media agency and other whatnots. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with content creator. Okay. Or, you know, go with e-commerce. Then you have your brand name. So I'm going to call this John's apparel. Okay. Once you've gone with that, it's going to ask you if you have a website, I'm going to go with, I don't have a website. Click on next. Now it says, what are your business goals? So you can select up to three goals for yourself. So I'm going to go with increasing online sales. I'm going to go with generating more leads and let's go with grow brand awareness and let's go with drive traffic to your site as well. Then it says, what's the focus of your brand? So obviously it is fashion because it's an apparel brand. And here it says interested in running ads. I'm going to go with yes, because that is what generally makes you money through Pinterest. So once you go ahead and do that, you're going to click on done. And once you click on done here, it says, where would you like to start? You can either create a pin and share your ideas or build your profile. I would recommend, first of all, going ahead and building your profile and then moving over to the pins. So, you know, you can add your very own profile picture. So let's say I'm going to choose a photo. Let's choose this as my profile picture over here. Now, once you do that, you can tell them about your story. You have your pronouns that you can add. Okay, You can add your website, username, email address, uh, your general, you know, staying address and you know, your very own description. So once you've gone with all of this, you're going to click on save. 
then you can also go over to your account management. Now, account management is all about your awareness, you know, what you want in your account. You can also deactivate or delete your Pinterest account from here. It's pretty simple and uh, it's a fun thing to have. Now, let's move over on to our business hub. OK, so the business hub is the place where you can find out all of your performance in the last 30 days where it shows you your pins and how your pins have been doing. So let's say I'm going to go over here and create a pin for myself. You know, I want to create a marketing pin. So over here, as you can see, it's going to give me ideas on how great pins are made. You know, add your text and logos, make multiple pins. There's new ways to edit it where you can crop images or use a preset size. You can also go ahead and create a collage of up to five images and, you know, you can create multiple pins at once. So that is what we're here to do. So I'm going to go to drag and drop upload. And as you can see, I just uploaded that straight into my preview. Now you can add your title like exclusive gaming, so exclusive gaming headphones. OK, I'm going to go ahead and write that in. Then you have your description where you can, you know, add text describing what your product is, how your product basically works. You describe it all. Now, after you've described your product, you can also go ahead and add a destination link, which could be an affiliate link if you're affiliate marketing. And you can also create a carousel of your product. You know, you can add multiple photos regarding it. You can, uh, you know, give different angles of it to people. It's pretty simple and it's a pretty great thing to start yourself off. OK, and once you've added your pins, you're going to click on publish. And obviously, if you're on the business account, you will need a board for publishing. So I'm going to create this board, you know, just create a random board. And now I'm going to go ahead and publish on this. So each board is specified to a different niche when it comes to your Pinterest business account. All right. So you're going to choose the correct board and you're going to publish it. And as you can see, our first pin on our business account has been published and the best part of a business account is whatever board you create, according to that board, it's going to give you ideas. So as you can see, we added headsets and according to that headset, it gave us different ideas that, you know, what people add and you can, you know, pretty much add it yourself as well. And moving on, we have these businesses, we have these ads accounts. So let's say if I were to go to my profile, as you can see, I can view my pin right over here. And here we have our pin. If we, you know, click it and check it out, you have it right here. Now you can also just go over to your business hub and in your business hub, you're going to get all the analytics for the specific, you know, pin where people are going to, you know, click on it, save it, etc. Now there's also domain where you can claim your very own domain on your Pinterest with your business account. And once you claim your domain, you can create it into a very own marketplace. OK, you can also become a merchant. OK, so for a merchant, basically, as an approved merchant, you'll get free organic distribution and will be able to promote your products through shopping ad campaigns on Pinterest. So to do this, you're going to want to claim your website, which is definitely required. And after claiming your website, you're going to start uploading your catalog. Now, to claim your website, you know, you could have any website like Shopify, WooCommerce, Wix, GoDaddy, and then connect it to this section. And that basically sets you up. So, yeah, that is basically how you can create a Pinterest business account for yourself in the easiest and most simplest way. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day and I'll be seeing all of you next time. Goodbye.